All right, today we have a really important tip for any Windows 7 user. I highly suggest that you do this if you do use Windows 7. It's a free tool that's already supplied with Windows. You don't have to download anything. It's basically a recovery disk that you can start up even if your computer is totally crashed and you can't even start Windows at all. Um, first of all, I'll show you what you basically get with this repair disk. Uh, just a set of tools here, once you get it all loaded up, you're basically going to see a window that will have these options here. I'll start at the top here, and the startup repair is basically an automatic check. It'll check different areas of the computer, uh, different areas of Windows, the hard drive. It'll check certain areas automatically to see if there's any problems that it detects. Uh, to be honest with you, I really have barely ever used this. I really don't think it's super effective. Um, I've been able to use this disk to repair a lot of problems without using the automatic startup repair here. Uh, system restore, this is basically the same system restore that you can access from the control panel. Uh, basically take your registry settings back and forward in uh, time basically from previous backups. Uh, system image recovery, this is if you already have a backup image that you've created again from the control panel. You can recover for, uh, to that image uh, from here if your computer completely crashes. So that's pretty good if you do have a backup already ready to go. The Windows Memory Diagnostic is basically going to check your memory, your RAM, your random access memory inside of the computer and it's going to uh, do uh, somewhat decent thorough tests um, and basically let you know if it comes back with any error codes on your memory and if that's the reason why your computer can't start up. And the most absolutely most powerful tool here is the command prompt. If you've ever used the command prompt before, like the uh, the uh, recovery console in Windows XP, it's a similar thing. It's basically just a DOS style command prompt that you can run all sorts of commands and uh, load programs and run all sorts of diagnostics and checks and uh, back up your files even if you need to replace system files with working copies all sorts of stuff. It's a really good tool. So this is basically how you create your disk. First of all, you're going to need a uh, blank CD, uh, or sorry, a blank DVD. And basically you're going to hit the start button and we can go to the control panel. Right now I have it in list view. If you have it in category view, uh, this is basically how you're going to do it. You're going to go to system and security and then you're going to go to uh, backup and restore here and you're going to click on create system repair disk and that will load the uh, the program but I want to show you the other way if your control panel is in list view basically you're just going to go right over to backup and restore and the same way create a system repair disk. Now right here is the program. You're going to select your drive that you're going to burn the disk to. If you have two drives, just choose your burner. Put your disk in and then click the create disk button. Once that's done, you'll have it and you can now boot to that disk instead of Windows if you ever can't start your computer or if you just need to run any diagnostic tests um, on your computer at all without actually booting into Windows. Really cool tool. You don't have to download anything. Definitely a good tip for you guys. Take care.